All right, Demon Souls. I started out with the Knight class because why would Knight? It is the best class in the game, in my opinion. I took off all the armor so that I could fast roll and not fat roll. I decided to start at the outpost because you get a lot of like bonus healing items here. I did not end up beating the Vanguard Demon, so I didn't get any of the super good healing items early, but that's all right. I arrived in the Nexus and immediately went to Bol the Gates of Boletaria because I can't really do anything here until I actually beat the Phalanx. I ended up dying once and twice before I made it to the Phalanx. I beat it on my first try. Wasn't too bad. I went to the Nexus to talk to the Monumental so I can finally level up and go to the different Archstones. Then unalived myself so that I wasn't in human form anymore. And I was finally ready to go down the Lord's Path to fight the Tower Knight. It only took me five minutes to get to this boss fight. And it was actually in this playthrough that I realized that the Tower Knight and the one reborn from Bloodborne are the exact same boss fight. I beat him first try. Ugh. Jesus, fuck. <sighs> if I would have died, I probably would have rage quit the game, because the run back is way too long. Moving on, I leveled up to use up all my souls, and then I offed myself. I moved on to the Smith and Grounds Archstone so that I can get level up items for my sword and also because this is the next easiest place next to Boletaria and the Lord's Path. I got these 8 hardstone shards from that rock lizard to level up my sword. I then unlocked the shortcut, this is the only shortcut in this level. And it also happens to lead to the best blacksmith in the game. At Blacksmith Ed, I decided to go with the crushing upgrade path. But that was a huge mistake because I never ended up using the crushing longsword. I just ended up using the normal one until I got the knight sword later on in the game. I chose the regular one over the crushing one because the regular one was easier to level up because it only used hard stones and their variants, as opposed to gray stones, which you had to farm for, which I spent about like two hours farming. And by the time I got all of them, you know, all, you know, all the gray stones, my regular short sword was still doing way more damage. Enough of that tangent. I ended up getting this rock lizard. Turns out it's only spider stones. And I died by getting bonked with a rock. I got my revenge on the rock throwers. And then I fought the giant enemy spider. I died before getting a single hit in. I ended up getting my revenge. Oh my god. I hate that boss fight. It's so annoying. I went back to the gates of Boletaria to get the ring of great strength so I can wear heavier armor. I decided to go to Island's Edge next to get some souls from the Adjudicator boss fight because the Adjudicator is really easy. I did the Adjudicator skip so that I didn't have to run all the way to the boss room. I then first attempted the Adjudicator. I then went to the Depraved Chasm. I made it to Leechmonger and then promptly fell to my death. Don't die. I got lost and then fell to my death again. <sighs> This is why I rage quit so fucking much, because this game is fucking annoying. I then died to Shrek. I hate this fucking game. I hate it. Fuck the deprived chasm. Fuck this fucking game. Oh my god. After seething and coping, I decided to fight the flame lurker. Underpowered and underleveled. Guess what happened? <clears throat> this fucking game! I decided to try my luck with the ritual path. Fuck! 
After that attempt, I decided to try my hand at gravity. Oh, fuck. I actually went to try the flame lurker. Without leveling up, and without raising my sword's level. So, yeah. After that attempt, I decided that the Tower of Latria would be a better use of my time. I tried to roll through the uh, giant ballista thing, ended up dying to it. I quickly went back to the ballista and rolled all the way to the end. I then grabbed the Imperial Spy set, killed this little shit, Grabbed the special key, killed the black phantom that was guarding the fool's idol boss room, and then fought the fool's idol. First try. After leveling up, I decided to try the flame lurker again. I ended up dying twice before squeaking out of victory. <sighs> My heart is pounding. Next, I did the gimmick fight where I died. Well, that's fucking annoying. After that death, I got Ballista number one, and then Ballista number two, and then immediately invalidated this run by using the Dragon Bone Smasher instead of a straight sword. I don't care if that breaks the rules. It was sweet. I then fought the old hero for more souls and also to open up the way to one of the archdemons. Cool. I then went to Stonefang Tunnel to, uh, you know, farm for more materials for my sword. After farming for a while, I decided to go to the Inner Ward because I looked it up online and apparently the best place to get Hearthstone Chunks and Pure Hearthstone is at the King's Tower, so I had to progress in the game even further. I made it all the way to the shortcut without dying and then ended up saving the useless Prince of Boletaria. I ended up dying trying to get this uh, lizard. Turns out it only gives sharp stones, which sucks because I needed Hearthstones. I beat the Penetrator first try with the help of Bior of the Twin Fangs. He's actually not useless, unlike every other summon in the <laughs> Souls franchise. I died twice to the Twin Fang Phantom. But it was that easy. I died only once to the bow wielding Black Phantom, but it still kind of got on my nerves because, uh, I don't know, I guess I just rage really easily. Oh my god, fucking bitch, fuck you, piece of fucking shit. My mood changed a little bit whenever I killed this rock lizard up here. Finally, Jesus fucking Christ. I finally got my longsword up to plus 10. I made it past this blue dragon by just not bothering about anything and just running like hell. I also ended up getting some Hearthstone Chunks from this lizard, so that was a plus. I then picked up the best straight sword in the game, in my opinion. And since I picked up those three Hearthstone Chunks, I didn't really have to farm that much to get the Knight Sword up to plus 10. Before that, I ended up, uh, I decided to kill the Black Phantom of the Useless Prince. On my way back to the King's Tower Archstone, I fell to my death. I couldn't find my souls at first. Where are my fucking souls? I ended up getting a little anxious that I couldn't find my bloodstain near where I died. Um, excuse me, that is 30,000 fucking souls. Where are they? What the fuck is up with that shit? Turns out they were just put a little further away than I was used to. Jesus, so fucking far away, what the fuck? Anyway, I went back to the Nexus to level up and also to move to Stonefang Tunnel so that I can level up my uh, Knight's Sword. I got the Knight's Sword up to plus 8 before I ran out of Hearthstone Chunks and had to go back to the King's Tower to farm some 
hardstone chunks from those rock lizards. It only took me one run to get the hardstone chunks that I needed to level up to plus 10. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so I went back to Blacksmith Ed to get the sword that I was going to use for the rest of the game. First boss up was Old King Alant, or False King Alant if you so desire. He went down in one attempt. Let's just ignore my 100 beats per minute heart rate. <laughs> The Storm King was the next of the Arch Demons to go. The Man Eaters were up next. I was thrown to my death. No! <sighs> I then got my revenge. For context, for this next clip, I suck and hate PvP in Souls Light. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't really like uh, forced PvP in these games. I fucking hate PvP bosses. They're so fucking annoying. Great idea on fucking paper. And that's fucking it. After that outburst, I defeated the NPC version of this boss. So fucking annoying and so fucking frustrating. And I know exactly what the fucking comment section is gonna fucking say. Ooh, you just suck at PvP. Yeah, I fucking suck at PvP because I fucking hate PvP. The only fucking reason I fucking play these fucking games is because there's no fucking other fucking players to ruin my fucking experience. Jesus fucking Christ. There is only one more Archdemon that I had to kill, and it was made in Astrea. Um, yeah, it, this didn't go too well. Ugh, that doesn't bode well. Two fucking hits for these pieces of shit. After I cooled off for a bit, I decided to finally beat the game. I started with Leechmonger, then the Dirty Colossus, and then made an Estrella. All of this took me about 20-ish minutes. I killed True King Alant, and then became a monumental to hold the world together. Getting the good ending, or the whatever ending. the maiden was swept back into the lulling fog. Volataria was spared from the demons, but also lost its knowledge of the soul arts. The souls lost during the pandemonium were never retrieved. And today, the unstable world has another monumental to hold its fabric together. A brave new hero of unprecedented power. Thanks for watching. I'll be, uh, Playing Dark Souls 1 uh, Straight Sword Only. I already have my first stream up. And at the end of Dark Soul of the Dark Souls trilogy of using only straight swords, then I'm gonna edit every single one of these videos together into one mega video. So look forward to that. And I'll see y'all in my streams.